Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Maria. How are you? How was your day? How was your day? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How was your day? Really busy. Okay. What time did you finish working? Right now. Right now, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Did you have dinner? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, good. That's <laughs> the most important thing to, to eat before we start the class. I was eating and working at the same time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sometimes it, it's not easy, but someone has to do it. Yeah. Right? So, um, so welcome back. What is today's date? Today is Wednesday 29th. Yes, today is Wednesday 29th. Which month? July. July. When does July finish? The Friday. On Friday, yes. Friday is the last day of the month. Yes. Right. So um, I hope you guys had a good day. It's July 29, 2020. Let's begin. Um, do you remember what we did last class, what we did yesterday? Do you remember yesterday's topics? Yes. We talk about uh, comparative adjectives and fun boys. Good, very good. We spoke about how to make comparatives and also we spoke about fanboys. What are fanboys? What does F stand for? Conjunctions. Conjunctions, good. So when we say fanboys, every letter represents something. So what does letter mm. F represent? Four. 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 A? N. N. N? Nor. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. B? But. But. Aha. Uh -huh. O? Or. 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 Y? Yet. 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 And letter S? So. So. so, okay, very good. Are there any questions with those um, words? No. No, no? okay, good. Um, do you have any questions about yesterday? What else did we do besides the, the fanboys and comparatives? What else did we do? What else did we mention? What else did we talk about? 
We talk about our favorite restaurant. Good. We also spoke about our favorite restaurant, right? And the reason why you like that particular restaurant. Good. Very good. All right. Um, did you guys receive an email for an extra oh, yes. 10 minutes today? Yes. Okay. So if you have any questions, any comments related to the topics we have seen in class, um, uh, today is going to be the, 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 the time. So only mm -hmm. if you have questions. So, um, and everybody will get a chance on a different date because we only have uh, an hour and each person gets 10 minutes. So if there is something you want to tell me about the class, any suggestions, any comments, whatever, uh, use your time and, and I will be connected here. Okay. All right. Okay, any questions about yesterday? Any comments? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, so um, let's go to page um, page eleven, part eight. Was your homework? Um, did were you able to use the right punctuation in in those sentences? Did you do the homework? Yes. Yes. Okay. So may I have a volunteer to read the first one? I go to expensive restaurants for their for their service. Um, punctuation, uh -huh. home, and dishes are very good. But I have a question. Yes. Um, you you use punctuation um, before fanboy? Uh, no, no. It, it was just. Um... To, to use only punctuation, but you don't need to write any fanboy. So you don't need to modify the, the, the sentence, but if you were able to do it, that is, that is good. Mm. So I go to expensive restaurants for their service, comma, and dishes are very good. Yes, but N is a fanboy, right? Right, right, yes. In um, in the rule, uh, app, punctuation, sentence plus, comma plus, fanboy plus, sentence. Okay, so, and, uh huh. And in the first sentence, you, I look, uh, I see to fanboy for, okay, uh -huh. uh, and in, in which and. Case, comma. Right, so, so you say, I go to expensive restaurants for their service, comma, and dishes are very good. So it was just a matter of writing commas where, whatever uh, it was needed. Yes. Okay. What about okay. the second one? Restaurants need to offer specialty dishes and they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. Someone else? Uh -huh. Did you do your homework? Number two, restaurant needs to offer spe specialty dishes, coma, and they have to offer it out in case you you are in a hurry. Right, right. That that is good. Restaurants need to offer specialty dishes, comma, and they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. Yeah. What about number three? Anybody else? The delivery person arrived late, comma, so we got we got the food for free. Okay, good. Nice. It was it was very simple. It was just about using comma where it was necessary. So remember, whenever you're making a pause in a sentence, you should use a, a comma. Right? Any questions or comments there? No? No. Oh, okay, so let's go to page 12 and let's begin with today's uh, uh, topic, the restaurant industry. So we will have 
like the first week we'll be talking about restaurants. The second week we'll be talking about something different, third week. So every week has a different topic. So please go to page 12 of your book. Have you printed your book or do you only have the digital version? Digital version. Okay. I already printed it. Oh, you Ooh. printed it. Yeah, if you can print it, it would be good. Um, so it's accessible. Let's say you go to the bank, you go to, you're waiting for somebody or something. You can, you can have access to your um, book, your physical book. All right. So part one, the name is Let's Start. May I have a volunteer? Let me see this here. Uh -huh. Share. Students book one. Page twelve. Page twelve. Page eleven. Page twelve. Okay. Can you see the question? Yes. Okay. Uh, may I have a volunteer to read it? What did you say, Boris? Started. Uh huh. Had you had you ever eaten? Uh, all you can eat restaurant. What was the menu light? Good, very good. Thank you. So, what is the meaning of the word starter in this case? In this case, I have a doubt. Yes, ask me. What is the difference between a starter and appetizers? Is the same? Usually, they are the same. Now, appetizer is usually what you ask when you are drinking what we call boquita uh, and, and a starter in is the case, like, in the case in the case of appetizers appetizers right so let's say you go to tony romas or cebollines you ask for a pills in it very cold Ooh. and they offer you appetizers what we like for an appetizer shrimp um uh, and starter is what they give you while you're waiting for the main dish it, okay. can be, it can be nachos, snacks, uh, soup, a small soup. So that salad. is the difference. Salad, right? Right? Yes. So that is the difference. Okay, thanks. All right, good. Okay, so I will assign you to work in pairs. So, so what is starter? Starter is what you ask for while you're waiting. And the second question is, have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? What was the menu like? So I will assign you to work in pairs. Let me send you an image. Uh -huh. You guys are group 18. Here are the questions. Remember that when we are, when we're working in pairs, you're expected to use English, so you can practice more and you accelerate the process more. So, uh -huh. I will make right there. So are the three questions clear? Are the three questions clear? Yes. Okay, yes. here we yes. go. All right.
I prefer the menu of of Pizza Hut because they have uh, uh, how do you say variado variety by, 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 variety by, by, by. variety variety yes variety four syllables variety, variety. yes so if I want to say that that something have a lot of things I, I can say I like the menu because it, it, have, it has it has it variety has, it has by, by variety variety, variety. Right. yes variety uh, variety okay. Christian can you pronounce variety okay I, I try uh -huh. uh, va variety variety <laughs> mercy okay. can you pronounce variety variety good very good <laughs> no you have money no <laughs> <laughs> oh jimena has money no yes yes no, no. Uh, she... for my anniversary with my husband today oh, no 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 when we are a uh, girlfriend and boyfriend uh-huh we celebrate one anniversary in Faisca do Brazil. In Brazil? Faisca do Brazil in the restaurant. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, all right. That's uh I think it's all restaurant. you can eat. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all you can eat. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, I don't, I don't. Yes. No, I didn't. I didn't this. I didn't eat. Uh huh. Uh, in a restaurant. In all you can eat. Okay. Never. Mm -hmm. No, never. Okay. Uh, I I eat little. Okay. <laughs> so you don't yes. you you don't eat much. No, I don't eat much. Okay, yes. so all you can eat maybe is not a good option for you. <laughs> yes, uh, is is better uh, pay for a plate. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Good. Nice. Um. Sala del Sur. Minestrone. Uh, I I I I didn't know how do you do you say uh, minest maybe is minestrone soup, <laughs> but I, I, I don't okay. know. Minestrone soup. Okay. W what's the name of the soup? Minestrone. Minestrone. Minestrone soup. Minestrone soup. Minestrone soup. Okay. okay. And what okay. ingredients does that soup have? What ingredients? Well, well, I guess uh, maybe chicken and vegetables. Okay. For example, carrot, uh, potatoes, uh, tomatoes. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me receive the late arrivals. Room two. All right. Room three. All right. Talk to you later. Hello, hello. Hello. You guys hello. are finished? Almost. We are talking about all you can eat restaurant. Okay, good. Yes. Go ahead. Keep talking. Okay. Don't stop. Okay. How many is left? Hello? Hello. You guys finished? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think it's time to go back to the main session. <laughs> All right, give me a second. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. What about you? I'm doing okay, thanks. How, how was your day, Rocio? Um, I'm really busy, really uh -huh. busy. I'm, I feel tired, honestly. Okay, okay. What, what, okay. what are your days off? Sunday. Only Sunday. Only Sunday. Yeah. Okay, and are you physically in the office uh, these days? Yeah, physically. Okay. Every day because it's a flower show. Um, I don't work. 
I can make home office. Right, right. Yeah, your service is physical. Only for uh, online okay. and calls. Okay. So mm -hmm. you, you receive phone calls? Yeah, I receive the orders by email in the website and also calls. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And your clients are in San Salvador, I imagine? Um, San Salvador and the United States, around the world, different oh. different countries. Oh, so it's an international business. Yeah, international business. Oh, what's the name? Uh, Camelot. Oh. Camelot Flower Shop. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Thank you. Thank All right, you. Jimmy, what about you? How was your day? Did you, did you work today? Yes. yes. Okay. I work in a pump. A pump? Okay. From, from what is it? What is it? From I, I can't hear you. I work in Promerica Bump. Yeah, okay. So you have to be mm. physically there too. Yes, every day. Every day. What branch are you in? What agency? Um, San Salvador, know. Soyapango, Merliot. San Salvador. San Salvador. Yes. yes. Okay, good, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Hello, welcome back. All right. Um, so your favorite starter, what is your favorite starter? What do you usually ask for when you go to a restaurant? Do you ask for nachos? Soup. soup. Okay. A, soup. a small soup? A small soup is a, is a more popular. Yeah, yeah, a small soup. Restaurant. Yeah. A small soup. Okay. Someone else, um, uh, does anybody else ask for something different as a starter? I usually order uh, nachos, but talking with my partner, I think that for now, I will always order soup. <laughs> it's a better option. Yeah. Yeah, because you, your stomach has to be, uh, needs to have space. So when the, Ruba, <laughs> when the food arrives, you, you eat it. I was thinking just right there. Just like that. Exactly, exactly. All right, someone else wants to give uh, your opinion? What starter you like to eat? No? And have you ever been in an all-you-can-eat restaurant? Yes. Okay, what was the menu? Um... Pizza. Pizza, oh my goodness. You really uh, love yeah. pizza. <laughs> no, not that much, but I, I wanted to try it. Uh, Papa John's. Uh huh. And I only ate three slices, so it wasn't too much. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. E Eduardo was mentioning something. Uh, Edgardo was mentioning something similar, like, you mm, know. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah, he doesn't eat much, so all you can eat is not a good option. It's not a good idea. It's not. Okay. Yes. Someone else has gone to an all-you-can-eat menu? I remember um, when I was a child. Uh-huh. Uh, actually, a long time ago, of course. Uh, I went to <laughs> Pizza Hut, and they had that option. For example, if you pay 10, 10 bucks, you can, uh, you can eat all you can eat. All you, all you, all you uh, can eat. Take one. Yeah. Okay. And did you eat a lot that time? Uh, did you eat I can much? Hear you. What is it? Did you eat much that time? Yeah, I remember that. That maybe ate a uh, ten slice of pizza, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you 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 made the ten dollars worth it. Yeah. Okay, good. Someone else wants to share uh, uh, all you can eat? 
nobody nobody has got only <clears throat> only all you can eat in the papayon okay. i remember when i was in college we went to why my my climate <laughs> you went you went with your classmates yeah in high yeah, school <laughs> in high school okay <laughs> and did you eat a lot did you eat much <laughs> fernando did much. you eat much yeah did you eat much okay good all right anybody else someone else someone else someone else yes me once okay only for a beer day uh -huh. uh, in, in pastaria but i like pasta but when you eat pasta you feel very fast right yes yeah. and I, bad idea for me <laughs> okay I, yes yeah pasta is heavy you know like you get full easily so it's 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 true yeah. all right someone else wants to share wants to speak going once going twice all right so let's uh practice the conversation we are in part two on page 12. so uh, today we're going to be talking about menus making menus you know that menus have different parts what are the different parts in a menu okay do you know the names What are the names of the different parts in a menu? The starter, the, okay, the, the plate. The starter, what else? Can you write it in the chat, please? Ladies. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. starter, what else? Uh-huh. Beverages. Yes. Snacks. Uh-huh. Desserts. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yes, desserts. Okay. What is your okay. favorite part of the of the menu? Drinks. Drinks, okay. Cold <laughs> drinks. Yeah, yes. Cold drinks. Lemonade. Lemonade, oh, of course. Oh lemonade. Okay. Oh. Natural <laughs> drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's exactly what I was thinking. I say when Humberto says drinks, cold drinks, he's thinking about lemonade, orange juice, and all that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very I good. <laughs> without without <laughs> alcohol. Without alcohol. Without alcohol. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, so um, we have a, a, a small conversation in part two. Are you on page 12? Yeah. Okay. So, um, how many people are there in the conversation? Two. 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 Nancy and Jennifer. Okay, so we have Nancy and Jennifer, right? So, I need Nancy, I need two volunteers to do the reading. Who is Nancy? Na Nancy? Nancy? Where me are you, too. Nancy? Who said me? Me, Stephanie. Stephanie, okay. Stephanie, you are Nancy and Jennifer? Me. Okay, please, Rocio. One, two, three, go. How well are the new menus items doing? The main fish and chip course are doing great. Great. Nineteen percent of people like them. Then the new lemon cake like is not doing very well only 35 percent of our customer like it let me check the online polls for recent products yes just like you said it seems the new natural snacks are doing great 80 percent of customers like them probably we only have to recite three Revise the lemon cakes since it not many people read, read well. Very good. Um, are there any questions about pronunciation or meaning of words there? 
Rachel, oh. how do you say Rachel? Reactive. Uh, reactive. Reactive, yes. Reactive. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? What is the meaning pulse? Uh, pulse. Um, imagine that we have elections next week. And I said, Stephanie, who's going to win? And I go to Maria, who's going to win? Who's going to win? It's when you ask different people the same question. Okay. Uh -huh. How do you say Paul in Spanish? Encuesta. Yes. Yes. So when you visit a new restaurant, uh, the owners, the administration, they want to know your opinion. So they ask you. Right? Any other questions? Questions or comments? No? So, okay, so I will assign you to work in person again. I will change you with a different person. And I want you to practice the conversation and also answer exercise three. It says, look at the graphic in the conversation. Write the percentages next to the products. Compare your answers with a partner. So let me... Add a room, so I will have move to room 10, move to room 10, move to room 10, Mercy changes with her. Louis will change with her. Let me see this here. Change with. What are you right here? And here we go. Este, en medio dice compartir cuando tocas la, la pantalla, no sé, a mí me sale cuando toco la pantalla del, del teléfono, pero en la computadora no sé cómo, cómo te sale, pero dice desactivar audio, detener video, compartir, le das compartir, ahí dice compartir pantalla. Mm -hmm. It's a green button, it's in the middle. Let me see. Let me Okay, you're sharing screen now, right there. I think Luis. Yes, you got it. Okay, thank you. All right. New lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35 of or customer like it. Let me check the online polls for reactive. Okay. My, I, uh, me cuesta esa palabra. 
reactive. Reactive. Uh huh. Reactive. Reactive well. How? Hello, hello. So for the last one, okay. And the fish and chips main of oh, main course. Uh, they have the one. Many people reacted well. Uh -huh. eh, 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 la pronunciación de lemon cake seems is correct. Le lemon cake line. Line. Yeah, line. Um, the new lemon cake no. line. Eh, and Jennifer, in eh, al final, ya yeah, teacher. At the end, let's see. Lemon oh, cake sings. Signs. Things. 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 Yes. And in the in the same paragraph, uh -huh. uh, probably we only have to revise. 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 Yes, revise. revise. Revise is correct. Mm -hmm. All right. You finished already? Yes. Okay. So let's do this. Here we go. All right. Any questions or comment about conversation in part two or the exercise in part three? Is everything clear? Yes. Okay. So, yes. okay. So um, earlier I was asking you about the different parts of a menu. You said drinks, uh, desserts, main course, uh, cocktails, fruits, and, and, and different things. So now we are on page 13. Are you on page 13? Page 13. Page 13 yes. has a menu with five different sections. Can you please read the five different sections? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Can you please read them? Ah, okay, okay. Uh, starters. Uh huh. Snacks. Main course. Courses. Is courses. Uh huh. Desserts uh -huh. and drinks. Very good. So we have starters, snacks, main courses, desserts, and drinks. What is another form to say drinks? Beverage. Beverage. Beverage is, beverage. is, is, is beverage. a synonym. Yes. So you say, what do you have for beverage? What do you have for drinks? So um, any questions about the five sections of a menu? Questions, questions about meaning or pronunciation? No? No. What are all the, the sections of a menu? Um, they are on page 13, this part here. Okay, okay. Right. So now, what are the items that we have for each menu? So we have this here. You see the first uh, square here? The first square? Let me, where is this? Right here. Mm -hmm. So we go here. Okay, do you see the the image? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, what is the first option that we have? Thai chicken and rice. Okay, second one? French onion soup. Good. What's the other one? Burger. 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 What is next? Burger. Cheese and tomato sandwich. Very good. What is next? Lemon cake. Lemon cake. What about the next one? 
Grilled fish and potatoes. Okay, grilled fish and potatoes. If you want to use a uh, British pronunciation, you could say potatoes, but Americans, they say potatoes. What is after the grilled fish and potatoes? Green salad. Green salad. Green salad. What is next? English tea. English tea. Next one? Pink lemonade. And lemonade. the last one is? Fruit salad. Fruit, salad. Fruit salad and cream. Okay, so right here, um, you guys will work in pay, uh, in triads. You guys are going to be working in triads, and you will have to create a menu. First, you have to classify all this according to the section of the menu. And then if you want to add extra items, feel free to do it. So let me, let me take a picture of this so I can send it to you. Uh, we are right here. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, could you repeat the pronunciation of the categories? Categories. We have starters, snacks, starters main courses, desserts, and drinks. Thank you. Sure. Now, are there any questions with the meaning of the items in each section? What's the meaning of the word grilled? A la parrilla. Right. Yeah, grilled means a la parrilla, good. Any any questions about the um, meaning or pronunciation? Maybe what is the difference with starter and snack? Uh, snack is a uh... yeah, a snack. A starter, like I said uh, before, is what they usually serve you when you are waiting for your food. So it's usually soup or nachos uh, or a salad. A snack can also be interpreted as a, as, a, as a starter. So a snack can be also something like informal. It can be classified as chips, mm. uh, something not serious, but you eat it. Okay, uh -huh. like the cheese and tomato sandwich can be a snack. It could be a snack, sure. Or, or I don't know if you have seen uh, the the vending machines where you put money and it gives you products, the mm -hmm. vending machine usually gives you snacks like uh, chips, uh, cookies, maruchan uh, soups. Those are considered to be snacks. Yes. Okay, any other questions or comments? No. Okay, so once again, can somebody tell me the instructions of what you guys will do? What will you do? We are going do? to classify the... Uh-huh. The we items. Are going to exactly, the items. Uh -huh. And then we can do a, a menu. Good, good. So first mm -hmm. you classify the items in each section of the menu, and then you add items uh, to it too. So let me... Breakout rooms. So I will send them to room one. I will send her to room three. Move to room four. Move to room six. We're going to move this person to room eight. She will go to room six. All right, so let's work together.
Ah, the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Is here. She I is think. here. <laughs> ah, Someone has good. the the. Hi, Sorry, Samuel. That if someone have the the book or share the screen because I I don't have it. <laughs> so if Ahorita. give me the favor. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. The Let's create one. the menu. Yes. Um, what kind of yes yes burger teacher burger is a snacks on our main courses teacher is in mute okay uh, it depends of where you are in, in some restaurants uh, it can be considered as a starter but in some other cases, it's part of the main menu. So it depends where you are. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make a, if you want to uh, make yourself a menu and you classify hamburgers as the main, uh, as one of the main dishes, you can do it. Okay. So it's your decision. Okay. All right. Hamburgers. Okay. Main, main. have the chicken rice and grilled fish and potatoes chicken rice and chicken like chicken uh -huh. rice and rice <laughs> <laughs> it's the um, dessert fish. give me a moment and potatoes are you making the menu yes Mm -hmm. I see you're quiet. <laughs> you're not supposed to be quiet. You're supposed to be speaking. For me, that's a good starter. Okay, for and me, green salad. Green salad, perfect. Yes. Green salad. Hello, teacher. Hi, Hello. how are Hi, you? Teacher. Very good. Just with chili. Okay. Okay, for the main courses. For uh, the main for... courses. Mm -hmm. um, what? Uh, exactly, what? could be. Exactly. Yes. Teacher, before you leave. Yes. I have a question about um, what Fernando said. Okay. Uh, un pedazo de carne. <laughs> Okay. How do you say it? A piece of meat. But okay, but piece yeah, of meat. when I say Car uh, carne asada. Carne oh, asada? Grilled meat. Grilled meat. Grilled, grilled meat. Grilled. But grilled. Uh, my, uh, question grilled was, meat. my question was uh -huh. was about the terms. Bien cocido, termino oh, medio. How okay. do you say it? Okay. Well done is bien okay. cocido. Okay. Well, well done. done. Okay. If you want it rojizo you say reddish, do, reddish. Do, you, you like rojizo helen i i prefer it well done no 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 that's not a me that's not a no eso no sirve como that's why the name is asada you know because exactly. you're supposed to grill it exactly yeah. bueno yo he escuchado que dicen parece chancleta <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, can you repeat it uh, the termino medio? Midterm. 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 Uh-huh. teacher. What is it? Three quartos? Mid thirty mid thirty is better. Yeah. Third, third fourth. Third fourth, Luis. Third fourth. 
Dr. Ford. Yes. Dr. Ford. Perfecto. Perfect. Okay, good. Orange juice. Teacher. So, yes, sir. Uh, teacher, in, in, in the case, uh, buffalo wings are snacks or main course? Uh, it depends. Um, well, that's a very good question. For me, question. it's a main course. Yeah, yeah. First, because you go there and you can have lunch or dinner. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's it's a lunch, it's a dinner, but maybe not too formal. So I think it's an informal dinner, an informal lunch. So, but it is a dinner and it is a lunch. Now, the thing is, in other restaurants, what you eat in Buffalo Wings can be classified as uh, uh, snacks or starters. So I it, have a... it depends where you Sorry. are. Okay, yeah. I have a question. I, yes, I have a question. Uh, in the case, for example, if you go to the restaurant and you select a dish, and maybe that dish uh, have a complement, uh, I have already heard about uh, some people call a side dish, something like that. Yeah, side dish. Yes. Side dish. Yes, you can okay. say it like that too. Okay. That's, that, that's a good comment. You can also say side dish, so like the compliment. Okay. Good. Any other questions? No? For me, no, no teacher. Thanks. Okay, no. good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Salad and cream. And cream. Dessert. Okay. And for the menu. <laughs> okay. Mm. How do you say a caldo? 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 Uh -huh. uh, so or, it's, it's like a soup? Yeah, but ah, soup. Okay. Yeah, but caldo and sopa are different. In English, they are different too. So if you want to say sopa, you say soup. If you want to say caldo, you say stock. Stock. S T O C K. Stock, yes. Stock. Like chicken stock. Like chicken and, stock, exactly. And consomme. Consomme. Ajá, cuando dan una sopita así de res, que es como, como bien concentrado. Mm -hmm. Oh, the concentrate. Soup concentrate. Uh, yeah, soup concentrate. Okay. What is your favorite soup, Josue? Um, my favorite soup is the pata. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. You, Rocio, Delicious. what is your favorite? Uh, fish. Fish. fish soup. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. Okay. I love seafood. Okay, I love seafood too, but you know, I love fish, but I don't like fish soup. It's very contradictive, you know, I love fish. Mm -hmm. Fish is one of my favorite foods, but I don't like the soup. I don't like fish soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Samuel, what about you? What is your favorite soup? The white beans, white bean soup. White beans, okay. I, I prefer yeah. red beans. Yes, sir. It's a, yeah. What if a stock is caldo? Why in some, uh, for example, a video game, and if you buy a car, the car say a stock. Stock. You say yes. stock. Now, th now, that's a very good question because like in Spanish, one word, in English, one word has different meanings like stock okay. stock also means um when you go to a a, 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 um, a store and they say yes oh existencias existencias mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so but it's not only existencias it also makes reference to caldo uh, okay yeah yeah oh so when you go to ebay and you try to buy something they say sorry we don't have that in stock anymore it doesn't mm -hmm. exist anymore uh-huh 
Yes, I always, I always want to know what that, what word means. Right. Yeah. Stock means existencia. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or also, uh, what is the word? Inversiones. Inversiones too. Inversiones, existencias. Is is like it's like uh, when you say I love you. And in the meaning you say it, you can say, I love you, that te amo, y I love you, that te quiero. Right, right. But, right, yeah, it's got double, like, te amo or te quiero, you know. And remember that Spanish is more complete than English. Because in Spanish, one says te quiero and te amo is totally different. And, and right. that's why Spanish is more difficult to learn than English. Spanish has a lot of information. A lot. Yes. Yeah, okay. Th thanks. You can right. continue with. <laughs> keep keep visiting the other rooms. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you guys finish? Yes, teacher. All right. Let's go back to the main session. All right, welcome back. So what time is it now? It's nine uh, five to uh -huh. nine. Okay, how do you say pasar asistencia in English? Take attendance. attendance. Attendance, attendance. Take attendance, yes. Take attendance. Yes. Nine o'clock. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it goes very fast. So let me take attendance. Sophia, Stephanie. Sophia, Stephanie. I saw her, she's here. Present. <laughs> oh, right there, okay. My microphone, uh, turn Okay, off. Fernando Arturo. Here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Coralia Rivera. Okay, say present. Ronald Humberto. Present. Good, very good. Uh, Katia Marcela. Here. Okay, very good. Uh, Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Where? Where are you? Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, Christian Alexander. Present. Very good. Uh, Josué Edgardo. I'm here. Good. Uh, Jimena Alexandra. Present. Okay. How do you pronounce your last name, Jimena? Bodevic. Bodevic. No. Bodevic. Bodevic. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Bodevic. Okay. And, and what nationality is that last name? German. Oh, German. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Who is German? Your father or your husband? My father. Okay. Good. All right, Samuel Rosales. Samuel. Oh, he's right there. Present, present. Okay, Rocio Mejia. Present. Very good. Uh, Mercy Carolina. Present. Where, where, where? Oh, right yeah. there. Okay, good. Uh, Ana Araceli. Hello. Hello. Ana Araceli, are you here? Okay, Present. okay, very good. Maria del Carmen. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Helen Mercedes. Here. Where? Okay, I see you. Uh, Luis Escobar. Where? Oh, right there. Okay, good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Where? Okay, I see you. Okay, uh, Christian Omar. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Wendy Guadalupe. Present. Okay, nice. And last but not least, Magdalena Emperatriz. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, did you finish creating the menu? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, did you assign the person to present the menu for you guys? 
No. In our, in our case, is Jimena. Okay, Jimena. Okay, Jimena, you're the first one. Okay. Uh, well, in our menu, about the starter, we put onion rings, nachos, and asparagus soup. Uh -huh. In a snack, we put hot dog. Okay. In main courses, we put sushi. Good. About uh, desserts, we put cheesecake, all, all the, the desserts we know. Uh huh. In the drinks, the same. All the drinks. Coffee, okay. tea. Okay, good, very good, nice, very good. Okay, another volunteer to share your menu. Someone else. Uh -huh. Volunteer or victim, what do you want? In our menu, in a starter, we put potato cream soup. Uh, for a snack, a, a burger and french fries. Uh, for the mentors, we put, a, we put grilled chicken and salad for a dessert, chocolate cake and drink, lemonade, lemonade uh, coffee, tea. Okay, good. So you include hot drinks and cold drinks? Yes. Okay. For the variety. Variety. Very good. Nice. Mm -hmm. You're practicing the pronunciation for that word. Very good. Okay, someone else. Someone else. Uh huh. For us was um, for the starter, green salad with almond. Okay. Uh, a snack. We didn't choose a snack. Um, main course could be grilled meat with mashed potato. Dessert could be brownie with vanilla uh -huh. ice cream. Um, for drinks, red wine or uh, lemonade. Okay, good. Now, what's the reason you did not include anything in snacks, Helen? Because it was a... A, a healthy menu. Uh, mm -hmm. At all, could be a... Bastante? Lleno? Full uh, menu? Oh, okay. So the menu... Was... How do you say... Yeah, a heavy menu or a full menu. Heavy menu. Thank okay. You, heavy menu. Okay. Good, good. Thank you. Okay, okay, someone else. Someone else. I have heard three menus. I need menu number four. For ours, yes. we have to start a green salad and potato soup. Soup. For a snack, we have fried potatoes and club sandwich. And for the main menu, we have lasagna and grilled meat with carrot. And for the dessert, we have cheesecake and brownie. And for the drinks, we have tea, coffee, wine, and lemonade and sodas. Good, very good, nice, good. Okay, someone else. I want to read, I want to hear menu number five. Menu number five. Okay, for us, starters, running mushroom, snacks, chili and meat, main courses, roast beef and vegetables. Uh, for desserts, red velvet, and drinks, red wine and coffee. Okay, good, good. Now, what did you have in starters? What was your, your first? Reading Grilling mushroom. Uh, grilled mushrooms? No. Hongos al gratin. Oh, okay. All right. And you said main courses, you mentioned vegetables. Roast beef and vegetables. Okay, good. Vegetables. How many, vegetables. How many syllables do we have in the word vegetables? How many syllables? Three, Three is Three. correct. Three. Vegetables. Three. Vegetables, vegetables, very good. Okay, and the last menu, or was that it? Was that it? Yes, that it. Okay, good. All right, um, any questions or comments about your menu? 
No. Teacher. Uh, yes. How, how do you say licuados? Uh, does anybody know how to say licuados in English? Shakes. You could say shakes, but the real word is blends. Blends. Yeah, let me write it in the chat. Uh, okay. Blends. That can be a drink, drink or blend. Still a dessert. Okay. Now it it, it could be part of uh, um, drinks. So everybody's okay. free to. Give me a second. But if you want to say uh, licuado de guineo, you say uh, banana blend. Banana blend. But you could also okay. say shake because um, it depends. Blends are usually connected with fruits. Uh, mm. Pineapple and orange blend. But you could also okay. say shake. Now, uh, shakes is is is, is like an informal way, no. Uh, not an informal way, but you know, people have like, do they say blend or do they say shakes? At the end, they refer to the same okay. thing. Okay, now, thanks. if you want to say licuadora, in the chat I wrote the word blender. Yeah. Blender. Blender. Yes. Blender. Okay. So okay. blender is licuadora. Blend is licuado. Okay. Same teacher. Yes. Okay. Good. Anything else? Any questions or comments? No? No. All right. So remember, next week we don't have classes. So your attendance so far is perfect. So it needs to stay um, like that. Okay, so um, I will assign you to work in pairs this time and discuss why you chose the menu that you uh, selected. Let me see, room seven. Move to room seven, move to room seven, room nine, move to room nine, move to room nine. I will exchange with her. I will exchange with him. All right. Mm -hmm. I still need to make changes. Move to room five and move to room five. So most of you guys are working with someone different. So now that you guys have the menu, your discussion will be what other aspects you need to take into account when you are opening your own restaurant or cafeteria. So you have your menu, what other components do you need before you open the restaurant? So here we go. What other components do you need to take into account when opening a restaurant? What other components do you need to take into account when opening a restaurant? Okay, okay, we have to discuss the other aspects that taking count. Right. Independ independently, with occasional help, only with help. I don't know. I me perdí. 
what what are you discussing right now? Ah, es que no entendí, teacher. Okay, so your your discussion, uh, your speaking right now, is what other components do you need to take into account before you open a restaurant? So you have the menu ready, but what other aspects are important when you're opening a, a, a food business? Okay. Yeah, okay. like the location, the prices. Is that a cat, Marcella? Yes, it's my cat. Okay, how many cats do you have? Five. Five cats? Yes. Really? You really like yes, cats? Really. Yes, she she's Nairobi. Oh. <laughs> and the others have the names of uh, Casa de Papel too? No, just oh, her. Only her, okay. Only Good. Her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine. No, but it's a snack. Aha, I'm going to put it in the chest. Okay. Is nacho with guacamole or nacho uh -huh. with frijoles? With guacamole. Frijoles, beans. With guacamole. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pero si vas a tomar mariscos, no te van a dar de snack. Nachos, porque no es comida mexicana. Yes, yes. Quiero ver, y lo otro dice y debe presentar tres o cuatro elementos. Tres o cuatro elementos. Ah, por cada uno. Ajá, Hello. Hello. What what other aspects or components are you discussing? What else is important when you're opening a, a restaurant or a cafeteria? Um, the coffee, the cheesecake. Okay, but when I say what other components or aspects, because you already have the menu prepared. Okay, we have the menu, Mexican food, Chinese food, whatever. But what other components are important when you are opening a business? Like the location, the workers, what, what things? Is it clear? So if you're opening a business, okay, I'm a chef and I'm good at cooking Mexican food. I already have the menu, but what other things am I supposed to take into account when I open my business? What else is important in a business, in a restaurant business? What do you think? Okay. What is it, uh, Maria? Local. Huh? The local. I can't hear you. The local? The space. Exactly. Where? Uh, you mean the location? Location. <laughs> the location. Uh huh. What else and is important uh, when you're setting up a menu? Personal? The people? The staff? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, very good. Uh, is a in um, eggs. How do you say it? Uh, huevos? Eggs. 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 Beans. Eggs. Cheese. Now, how do you prepare? Like, if you're thinking about eggs. What are the different presentations that you can present eggs? Fried eggs. Fried eggs, good. Mm, mixed eggs. 
Okay, in English you call it scramble. Scramble eggs. Yeah, scrambled eggs. Uh -huh. Scramble eggs. Uh -huh. Omelet. Omelet. Mm -hmm. Omelet. Mm. I think someone mentioned a club sandwich. Mm, no. You don't you don't you don't like uh, club sandwiches? Yes. Okay. Could you include that in a menu? Um yes. Could be. Yes, it's a breakfast menu. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but when you're hungry, you can eat a club sandwich any time of the day. Yes. <laughs> he said, oh, this club sandwich is delicious. It's 2 p.m. Yes. Fruit is um, a parasite or appetizer? snack? Appetizer or, or a snack? Yeah, I would, I would consider a fruit appetizer or snack. I think it will be a snack. Snack. Yeah, snack. Okay. And cookie is a snack. It's a snack too. You, you have to consider something that when you're talking about snacks, usually you're talking about things that are not healthy, like cookies, chocolates, uh, corn chips, things that are not usually healthy. But you could include fruits in a, in a snack, like ice cream too. In bread, uh, in breakfast, in breakfast, what is what is a appetizer? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe cereal. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's a food more light. My, more light. Yeah, okay. it's lighter. Like lighter. like in my case. Okay. Um, my I I wake up. I'm the first one to wake up in my house. Yes. My wife, she wakes up after, but I love how she cooks, but she wakes up later than I. So what I do, I eat a uh, cereal while she wakes up. So in my case, cereal is my appetizer. Okay, appetizer. While I get the real breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yogurt, yogurt and fruit is a snack or... Or maybe appetizer. Hmm, that's a good question because fruits and yogurt that's healthy. So I don't think it would be an uh, 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 a snack. Or maybe if they say, "Look, uh, we have an event tomorrow. We will serve breakfast at 10 a.m." You said 10 a.m., but that's that's late. So maybe before you leave your house, you can eat. Uh, yogurt with with fruits and that would be like an appetizer maybe okay yeah okay. but everybody eats different everybody has a different menu so you know but fruits and and, and yogurt are really good appetizer. yeah okay. all right um yes into a told the low thing Mm, I think that they don't have traduction because our national our, food. Yes, national food. Our national food. Right. Uh, and and okay. anything that is national usually doesn't translate. So you're right. Mm -hmm. um, like piña colada, we have that, that is no national, but we have the dog. Yeah, piña colada is piña colada in English too. Okay. Yeah. I, I, where's piña colada from? Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic? I think that is Puerto Rico. Puerto oh, Rico. Yeah. So when, yes. when, when, the, when the food is national, uh, people don't change the names. You know, it stays in the same language. Uh -huh. It's yep. like arepas, gallo pinto. Uh huh. Yeah. So all the Latin food doesn't have. Traduction? Uh, no, it doesn't have a translation. It usually ah, stays the same, right? Yeah, like gallo pinto. Uh, what, what is the other food the Nicaraguans have? Uh, uh, well, baleadas from Honduras. Honduras, right, Honduras. right. Or tacos, baleadas. burritos from tacos, Mexico. Burritos. So pupusas, they, they, the names uh, stay the same. Okay. 
Yes. Yuca frita. Pastelitos. Uh -huh. Ajá, yuca frita, pastelitos, right? All that is Empanadas. Really yeah, I'm getting hungry now. Yes, me too. <laughs> I, I had a, I was having my dinner like about 7.30, but uh, I, today in particular, I have to do some work. So I will go to bed maybe like in three hours. Meanwhile, I'm going to be eating. Yes, so, I think that it's a lot. Yeah, so, uh, you know, so uh, that's, that's what I usually do. When I have to work late at night, mm -hmm. I'm usually eating. You know, I make a pause, I prepare a sandwich, or I look for fruits, anything that will satisfy, satisfy my appetite. Yes. Um, how do you say that you can, estás como picando? Or, or munching. Munching. Yeah, um, I'm munching. You're mo okay, you're munching for later. Yeah, yeah. For later. So I, I'm already thinking, because I said, okay, I finished the class at 11 p.m. today. So yes. I'm going to be cooking cookies, fruits, uh, something from dinner. I don't know. I, I will see what I what I can eat. Okay. Yes. Well, well. All right. All right. Okay. So Thank talk you. to you later. Okay. Carne en la plaquia. Grilled meat. Oh, okay. Uh, grilled meat. Grilled meat. In the in the in the meat course in chicken to the beer. Chicken to the beer. Yeah. Chicken to the beer. Yes. <laughs> Where la cerveza. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> okay. The, chicken okay. is good. Chicken is good. Do, do, do you eat chicken? Yes. What yes, is your yes, favorite right. part? What is your favorite part, Luis? All. All the parts. All the parts. Wings. I, I like. Legs. Wings. Legs. Breast. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So yeah, y, teacher, y, 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 y este, eh, pollo empanizado. Uh, how do you say pan? Bread. 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 Bread means pan, but it also means empanizado. So you say bread chicken. Oh, bread, bread, empanizado. Chicken. bread chicken. Okay. Bread chicken. Bread chicken. Yeah. Bread chicken. So whenever bread. you say, okay, how do you say empanizado in English? Think about the word pan. It's the same mm -hmm. word. So okay. you say bread chicken. Bread chicken. Bread chicken. Okay. Do you like bread chicken? Yes. Yes, I like. Yeah. <laughs> Very delicious. What is what is your favorite restaurant to eat chicken? My favorite restaurant in Miami. Miami. In Miami. Yeah, teacher. In Miami. In na, in Miami. In Miami. In Miami. Miami. And what's the location of in Miami? The location in the Santa Ana City. Okay. For the, for the Metro Centro. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. And I... in the, the, the chicken, other, other pizza, pizza Maradona, pizza Picoyo, pizza chick for the very delicious. Okay, so the, the pizzas that you're mentioning right now, are they homemade pizzas? Son caseras. Son caseras, yes, caseras. Okay, okay. in English you call it homemade. Homemade, okay. Homemade. 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 Let me write it in the chat. Uh, if you translate it, homemade. Home Hecho en casa, homemade. Okay, homemade. Homemade, homemade. yes. Yeah, homemade okay. pizza is, is really good. Yes, teacher. It's, it's very different of, of the pizza house, the papa. Exactly, young. exactly. Yes. They're very different. I agree with you. All right, so I'll talk to you in later. The, uh -huh, yeah, tell me. In the city of the Congo, there is a restaurant called Los Pinos. Okay. Yes. Oh, the menu the, the restaurant is very varied. Like variety. Yeah, it has variety. Okay. Variety. Okay. Good, good. 
And what's the name of the it, restaurant it, in it, Congo? It, it is very, it's very similar for the for the in Miami in the Simmerdao in the Santana city. Oh, I went to Simmerdao yeah. uh, a couple of years ago, like five years ago. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice place. Yes, very. The, yeah. the different uh, an, atmosphere, teacher, or atmosphere. Different ambiente? Yeah. Atmosphere. Okay. Atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I visited Santana before the emergency, like every month, because I have a good friend in Santana, so I visited him, and so that's okay. how I know the places. <laughs> yeah. All right, talk to you later. Okay, teacher. And I didn't. <laughs> couldn't. I couldn't. Hello, you teacher. Couldn't. How are you? <laughs> Very good. Okay. Yeah, fine. What is your conversation right now? <laughs> About English studying. Okay. She told me that she studied in the Centro Cultural. Okay. In Before. San Salvador, Mercy? Yes, in San Salvador, okay. but was in the same program for INSAFOR. Oh, so you went there physically? Yes. Okay. But was in January. Okay. January and February. But in that beginning to the emergency. Emergency. Right. Do you remember the name of your teachers, Mercy? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a girl. But okay. I don't remember the name. Yeah. You know, like uh, it's very curious because if the person is your English teacher, automatically they call you teacher, you know, yes. like, hey, teacher, teacher, teacher who, you know. And forget the name. Right. It, because, you know, like people, the students, they usually call the, the, the teacher, teacher, like teacher. And we'd say yes, you know. So it's, uh, but you should remember the name. <laughs> exactly. Mr. Marroquin. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. For example. Yeah. I, I have a question. Yes, Sorry. ask me. Um, I didn't hear the, the, um, the how do you say? The instructions? The instructions. Uh -huh. Instructions. Because I was talking on the phone. Sorry. Okay. Uh, um, uh, uh huh. We so had to. You have to discuss because okay. you created a menu. So you're selling Mexican food, Chinese food, Salvadorian mm -hmm. food, whatever. You have the menu now. Now, mm -hmm. what other components or aspects you need to take into account before you open uh, your, your restaurant, your, your cafeteria? So like the location, the prices. How do you say proveedor in English? Providers. Providers, okay. exactly. So you have the menu, you have to think, okay, where is my restaurant going to be? Mm -hmm. Who's going to be my provider or supplier? What are going to be the prices? So the first thing, it's the menu. But when mm -hmm. the menu is ready, you have to discuss other uh, aspects that you need to take into account before you open your business. Okay. So that's exactly what you guys are discussing right now. Okay. I was bad since the last activity, so. Okay. Don't worry. Let's work. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Fresquito. En heladito. Fresquito. You like fresco? <laughs> Cold. Cold. <laughs> what is your favorite drink, Rocio? Drink, drink, drink. Natural drink. Like the ones Ronald Natural. drinks. <laughs> uh, strawberry tea okay strawberry tea okay yeah. you Josue what is your favorite drink natural drink mm, my favorite drink it's um, a lemonade with um, with um, I don't remember the, the name it's a it's a Como se llama? No, no. It's a vegetable. A vegetable? Yes. Uh, 
like perejil, but isn't perejil. Sí. Eh, no, no cilantro, it's a... ¿Mojito? No. I have it in the tip of my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh, hierba buena. Hierba buena. Mm. Oh. And that's great. Okay, what about you, Ronald? What do you think, teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Ronald says, I'm allergic to natural drinks, you know, like, don't ask yeah. me. That. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe, well, actually, I guess that is the beer, maybe. Okay. But, but sometimes I like to, to brew other drinks. For example, I like very much uh, so like the soda, for example. Okay. Okay. Now, when you're talking about beer, do you mean um, national beer or do you have uh, another one in particular? Uh, nowadays, uh, I prove, uh, for example, Tonya. Yeah, from Nicaragua. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cheap. It's, it's cheaper than others. Okay. And and it's so good. Okay. Uh, what is the other one from Nicaragua? They have Tonya, and what's the other one? Because they have two in Nicaragua. But yeah. I, for, I and, forgot and the, the other name. And the other, I don't know. I I don't know, but I remember that is the same. Is a a woman name, but I don't remember what. It, yeah, Tia something or Doña something. Yes. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, teacher, yes. I I I have a question. Yes, ask me. If, for example, when you when you booked a, a table, so after that you arrive at, at the restaurant uh, with your friends. Right. So the way so the waiter uh, ask ask you, and they say in El Salvador, ¿cuántos son ustedes? Yeah. But in but in English, uh, I heard that is incorrect. Uh, say uh, we have four, for example. Okay. What is the what is the correct form uh, when when we want to say somos cuatro? Okay, we are four. So if you are the guy in the restaurant, you say how many are you with? Con cuántos está o con cuántos viene? How many are you with? How many mm -hmm. do you come with? So the answer is very simple. You said uh, we are five. We are three. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Or if you, you can say, we booked the table for five people. So. Ah, okay. Yeah, so you can say, you know, uh, uh, the, the vocabulary that you use in a restaurant is very casual. People don't expect you to speak like uh, grammatically correct. So, you know, and so you can say, how many people came with you? He said, oh, we are four, we are three. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so you use the regular everyday language in a restaurant. Yep. Okay. Thanks. All right. You guys finished with the conversation? Yep. All right. Yeah. So let's go back. Yeah. Only three months. After that, I I I received class in English Corporative. No, okay. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes, sir. Hi, teacher. Hello. How do you say how do you say sweet bread? And dulce. Sweet bread? Yes, you can say sweet bread, but if it's a, a higher quality, people sometimes call it pastry. Like oh, pastry. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I the correct. Yeah. yeah, pastry. 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 Yeah. Do you like pastry? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What are you about? <laughs> it's delicious. All, all people in the world. Yeah. With it, coffee. Yeah. You know, like it, that's a, sometimes people make a combination of pastry with coffee, but if I eat sweet bread or pastry, whatever you want to call it, I usually leave the coffee for later, but I don't mix it. You know, it's either only coffee or only the oh. bread, but I, I don't, I don't usually mix it. But if you drink your coffee with, without sugar, 
without sugar. Without sugar. Yeah. That's the 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 way I drink coffee without sugar and and I mix it the the pastry <laughs> and the Okay. You know, uh in the past when I drink coffee, I used to put a lot of sugar, like two spoons, and I said, Oh, this is very delicious. But when I went to the hospital one day, you know, <laughs> the, the, the doctor told me, look, I think you're diabetic, so you need to sacrifice your sugar. Ooh, yeah. And the first thing that I cut the sugar from was coffee. So I remember the first morning that I was drinking coffee without sugar, and I was like, my goodness, this is delicious, you know, coffee with no sugar. <laughs> yeah. So when you put sugar to the coffee, you ruin it. Yes, yeah, correct. Um, so coffee with no sugar is really, really it's good. Very good. It's really good. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Bye, teacher. All right. All right. Let's see. Fifteen, nineteen. Two, four, okay, we're all set. Okay, so um, what are the other components that you mentioned when you're opening a new restaurant or a new cafeteria? So you have your menu ready. What other aspects do you need to take into account? The staff. The staff. Who's going to cook, who's going to serve, who's going to do the shopping, very good. What else? Furniture. Good, the furniture. If you're going to receive clients, where are they going to sit? If you're going to cook, do you have the stove ready? Do you have all the uh, dishes, utensils and all that? Good. The location. The location. Exactly. So let me write this here. Uh, the location, uh, the furniture. What was the other one? Oh, the staff. Uh huh. What the else? Price. The, the price. Uh, oh, my the God. Room. Yeah, prices. You know, Salvadorians were very special in terms of prices. So you have to be careful when you set uh, the prices on your food. What else? A a budget. What is it? A budget. Design. Uh -huh, the budget. Yes. How much do you have available to start your own business? Mm -hmm. Budget. How do you say budget in Spanish? Presupuesto. Uh -huh. Presupuesto. Okay. Someone else mentioned something. Um, design. The designs of the restaurant. Yes. The design. The now, when we talk about design, we're talking about the decoration. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Let me see. Making the marketing strategies. Uh, one more time. Make a mar uh, marketing strategies. Okay. Uh, marketing strategies. Stra strategies. 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 Marketing strategies is similar to uh, a specific audience. Right, yeah. right. So uh, when you're talking about audience, that is connected to the location. So you mm. said, okay, my mm. audience is going to be university students. So you have to be near a university. So, okay, the location, the marketing strategies, uh-huh. What else? What else, people? The cleaning uh, into, the, into the restaurant. Uh, the Good cleaning? service of cleaning. Mm -hmm. Okay, cleaning services. Okay, very good. Something else? Something very, very important that nobody has mentioned it. How do you say trabajadores? Okay, um, it's... Uh, Right there in staff. Do you see the chat, Jose? Yes. Staff. Uh, how do you say 
employees. 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 Yeah, employees. Employees. The quality of the food. Okay. Good food, exactly. Investment and investing. Okay, investment. Investment. Let me see. Man. Investment, definitely. Yes. So you say, look, I have a good friend that he has $3,000 and he wants to invest. So definitely. Okay, so investment is connected with the budget. It's connected. Okay. Uh, anything else? Something you haven't mentioned that is very important. The salary. Okay, salary. Okay, it's uh, very, very important. Yes. The place? The place, it's related with the location. Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay, what about this one? Uh, the music? Okay, could be. The, the name of the place? Okay, the name of the place is. is uh, the name of the too. place? Yeah, name of the place. Now, do you see what I wrote before the name of the place? Before the name of the place, what did I write? No, I don't Good see. Food. I wrote, um, oh, hold on. Um, <laughs> Let me see this here. Okay. Innovation could be another. Uh-huh. You have to innovate. You have to innovate. Service. Innovate. Uh huh. Or the attention, innovation. So all those aspects are very important when you're opening a, a restaurant. Yes. Okay. Anything else? No. But the service attention is not like the staff. Right. Uh, yes, but you would have to, okay, so let's say I'm going to open my, my restaurant, my cafeteria, whatever. Uh, I will have five people helping me. So you're going to be doing the dishes, you're going to be cooking, you're going to be doing the shopping. But something that is very important is your attention to the clients. So welcome to, what, what name would you give your restaurant? Which name would you give your restaurant? What would be the name? Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet bread. bread. Cheap bread. Sweet. Sweet bread. Sweet. That would be the name of your cafeteria, Sweet Bread. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it can be literal. Okay. Uh, any other names that you might consider for your business? Bad soup. Bad soup. Bad soup. Yes. B A T H. Mm, like Batman. Oh, bad <laughs> soup. <laughs> you know, with the coronavirus yes. became popular, yes. you know, they were saying. You want to re you want to recreate the Wuhan uh -huh. pandemic. <laughs> yeah, so they were saying, oh, the Chinese are eating bat soup. And like, you know, you know, in China, they eat different things, you know, strange animals that we will never eat. But yeah, bat soup. Okay. I don't if think, they, uh, what is it? If they get coronavirus for eating bat, what will get for eating kusuko? <laughs> Okay, yeah, you know, like it, like in El Salvador, some people eat kusukos, but in other cultures, maybe it's a like, kusuko. I don't eat kusuko, but okay. All right, a any questions, any comments? I see 
two, three, five, nineteen. Who's missing? Okay, let's do this quick. Uh, I need to take attendance two times. One time at nine o'clock and the second time at 9.45. Uh, Sofia Stephanie? Present. Okay. Uh, Fernando Arturo? Here, teacher. Okay, Coralia? Coralia? Oh, Coralia is here, okay. Uh, Ronald Humberto, he's here. Katia Marcela, she's yeah. right there. Jimmy Rodriguez, Present. I see you. Christian Alexander, Present. okay. Josue Edgardo, Present. okay. Uh, Jimena Alexandra, Present. good. Uh, Samuel Rosales, Present. right there. Rocio, 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 Rocio. I guess she's absent. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Mercy Carolina. Present. Okay, so every. Huh? What? Okay. Present. Ana Raceli. Present. Okay. Maria del Carmen. Present. Okay. Helen Mercedes. Present. Okay, Luis. Luis, Luis. Luis is here. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Okay, Christian Omar. Present. All right. Wendy Guadalupe. Present. Very good. And Magdalena Emperatriz. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, any questions about the different components before you open um, your restaurant or your cafeteria? No? Okay, so once your restaurant or cafeteria is open, how would you, how would you increase the sales of a particular product? With promotions. Okay, how can you promote a, a, a product? The, all, maybe not all, but uh, the popular promotion is, uh, how do you say, two for one. Two for one. Okay. It's the most popular uh, promotion. And in some cafeterias, I read that they put a, a buy a, a piece of cake and the coffee is, is free. Okay, good, good. Nice, two for one, or they give you something free. What else would be a, a good option to promote a, a product, a new product or a product that is not selling that much? A specific day, the menu, uh, the price is a uh, one cent. Okay, good. So let's say on Mondays, this product is one cent. So they give you a special price. Okay, that's good. Other, other strategies of how you would promote a new product or a product that needs to increase sales? The second product, uh, uh, right? Okay, good. The second product at half a price. That okay. is one technique that they apply in supermarkets. You buy one bottle of coffee, the second one is 50% off. Very good. Other strategies. Other strategies? No. Bundling. Bundling. Uh huh. Can you explain the word bundling? For example, bonding is when you offer uh, several pro products, uh, but you sell one combined with other products. Good, good. Bundling. It's in the chat. Can somebody repeat what Ronald explained? What is bundling? Bundling. Mm. 
Uh huh. What is different product? products? Uh huh. What is it? Combine different products to sell okay. it. Okay. Okay. So let's say um, I have a sardine, I have a soup, and I have a candy. So if you buy a sardine and a soup, I will give you a free candy. So that is bundling. When you offer a variety of products, but in that variety, you have the product that you want people to taste. So that is bundling. Good. Other strategies? Promotion at social networks. Okay, good. Yeah, social media right now is so effective. It's so effective that, you know, and it's cheaper than announcing it in the radio, in television, everything. So social media is effective, definitely. Right. Uh, some, other, uh -huh. re some restaurant uh, put the promotion that the, in the first day that the first 50 person uh, have an, a special product or something free, uh, but only the 50 first person. Good, good. Yes, and, and that is very uh, productive. You say the first 50 people or the first 100 people that arrive will get a free whatever, or they will get a yeah. discount on their order. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Something else, other strategies that you may apply for marketing? Food is smart homemade in the cafeteria. Uh, homemade what, Magdalena? Más casera. Okay. Comida en la cafeteria. Okay, homemade food. Homemade yes. food. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. You know, that is good. And that is the secret sometimes when you want to attract customers. Look, we have homemade pizza. <clears throat> we have homemade quesadillas or, yes, or anything. Yes. Anything else? Anything else, people? After office. What is it? After office. After office? What is after in, office, Stephanie? Uh, for example, in a bar, the beer, um, Jueves de Amigos. Uh -huh. <laughs> se dice. Yeah. <laughs> friendly Thursday, Friendly Thursday. Friendly Thursday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so you mean after office hours? After office hours. Okay. okay. Happy hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, happy hour after office hours, those are effective too. And people Maybe start planning. Night. People start planning. Yes. Someone mentioned the uh, Marte de Aleros and I go to, to the promotion and they get, uh, se llena. <laughs> they get it, full. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it gets full. Right. Now, when you say Martes de Aleros, do they have any specials? They give uh, five beers for $2. Five beers for $2? Yes. Oh, that's, that's, that's very cheap. You know, that? <laughs> yeah, give us the address. <laughs> 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 Don't keep it to yourself. Write the address in the chat. You know. Nos han contado, teacher. Oh, yeah. Okay. They have to <laughs> Okay. You know, and all those tragedies that you guys are mentioning right now, those are hooks, you know. So if they make you come on a Tuesday to have a couple of beers, there is a good possibility that you will come back the next day. And Thursday and Friday and Saturday. And so it's a... It's a marketing strategy. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions, people? No? Okay, so the ones that received uh, uh, an email, an invitation to speak with me uh, for 10 minutes, 
uh, feel free to do it. If you, if there is something you want to say or you want to uh, share, feel free. So, any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? No. What is it? Maria? Okay, uh, today only five people received an email because every Wednesday I will speak with five different people. So the people that I speak to today will be different than the five people that I will speak after a vacation. So today so you, send a, a, you send an email for, for that five people. Okay, let me, I have uh, it's so it's for, different for day. Yeah, it's, we got five different people each week. So today I have Sophie, Fernando, Coralia, Ronald, and Katia. So only, only those five. So when we come back from vacation, I will have other five and so on and so on. So I will have five different people each week. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments? No. Okay, so I will be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. So if you're scheduled to speak with me today, you can do it if you have any questions or comments. And if not, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you later. Bye bye. See you. Sleep well.